There are a lot of people on the internet that believe that technical analysis is completely useless. They believe that you cannot use this to make money in the stock market. They believe that it is better not to use it because it is completely worthless. I'm just going to come out and say it right now. I disagree 100% because I think it's better to use it than not use it. Any advantage you have or anything you have that you can use that might help you succeed sometimes is better than nothing. As the old quote goes, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. So in the land of the markets where nobody has any idea what's going on, right? The markets are brutal. Having any advantage or any help is always beneficial. Now, technical analysis, this is not going to you know, make you rich. You can't just buy this book and become a stock market millionaire. I mean, you might, you might, but what this book teaches you is simple things that you can use to become better. I want to emphasize that this is the best book for trading stocks in existence. There is no better book out there. I have tons of other books on trading stocks and they're great. Some of them are very motivational. They teach you how to deal with your emotions and the psychology. This talks about the psychology and it explains how the psychology of trading shows up in the charts, which is really beautiful. Now, why do I have two books here? This book is Technical Analysis of the Futures Market, also written by John J. Murphy. So John J. Murphy wrote this book first, then he revised it and updated it for stocks. So this is the one you want to buy if you decide to get it, which I think everyone should read this book. By the way, um, I believe this is kind of like a textbook. People who are studying to be, I believe it's called certified market technicians, I think they have to pass a test and I think they have to study this book, which is kind of fun. I, you know, I bought this book many, many years ago. I've had it for over a decade and I have read the entire book and it's just amazing. Here is the copyright 1999 by the legendary John J. Murphy. This man is a legend and I say that only because I love this book so much. I have read the entire book and it is a beautiful read. Let's take a really brief look at the contents because I want to show you some of the actual things that are in this book that you can actually use. And again, worth it, right? This is the best book out there. Philosophy of technical analysis. Again, some people do not believe in this at all. And that is fine, right? None of this is 100%. And that's the thing, right? In mathematics, it's, it's right or wrong. In technical analysis, none of this stuff is going to work all the time. Dow theory, that's really important and worth reading. Chart construction. Thankfully, we have the internet today. So, you know, the internet can create the charts for us. And this book will teach you how to read the charts. Basic concepts of trend. Again, super important. Never fight the trend. It is not a good idea. And then here it talks about reversal patterns. So in case you decide you want to try to find out when a reversal is going to happen, you can try to do that. It's dangerous. It's difficult. And you just need to be careful. Continuation patterns, volume and open interest. You've probably never heard of that. Uh, open interest is something that comes up with futures trading. Long-term charts, that's very important. I believe that everyone should always start by looking at long-term charts first, and then you want to narrow your timeline. Moving averages, and then oscillators and contrary opinion. And then we have point and figure charting. Japanese candlesticks, which are very popular now, and Elliott Wave Theory. That's some really cool stuff. That gives me goosebumps. Time cycles, all kinds of stuff in here. Computers and trading systems, money management and trading tactics. That is super key. Some people believe that money management is more important than anything. The link between stocks and futures, and then some stock market indicators. Putting it all together, go quickly here. Advanced technical indicators, market profile, and the essentials of building a trading system. Yeah, building a trading system is tough. And then continuous futures contracts. All right, let's take a closer look inside this book. Let's take a look at this here because this is actually relevant today, right now. At this very moment, if you go on the internet and you look at a chart of the S&P 500 over the last, I don't know, two years, look at the daily chart. You're going to see a downtrend and you're going to see that it's broken that downtrend line and it's broken out of the downtrend, right? You're going to see that. It could be a fake out. It might not work, right? But 
The theory tells us the following. Let's see what it says here. How to determine the significance of a trend line. Let's discuss some of the refinements of the trend line. First, what determines the significance? The answer to that question is twofold. The longer it has been intact and the number of times it has been tested. A trend line that has been successfully tested eight times, for example, that has continually demonstrated its validity is obviously a more significant trend line than one that has only been touched three times. Common sense, right? It's not math. It's just something that is from observation. It's, I don't want to compare it to physics, but it's kind of like physics. In physics, you know, you have these formulas that are created and the formulas, you know, they come up again and again and again. And then we validate them through experiments and that's where they come from. It's kind of like that in TA, except it's not as precise, right? This is not going to work all the time, whereas the formulas in physics, they, they do work all the time. And that's the difference between TA and math and physics. It's not really an exact science. And so people look at this and they just attack it. But honestly, if you don't have this, what do you have? And let me just say something about finance in general and the internet. There are a lot of websites and there are a lot of people that are trying to, you know, sell you trading systems. They tell you that you can make all this money. Uh, there's people that believe that, you know, there's only one way to do things. My view is this, keep an open mind, try everything and do the best you can. This is really interesting here. You can see some notes I've written here. This is fun. The importance of the number three, and I have a little note here. It says, things come in threes, and it says Jerry. So Jerry was an old friend of mine, and I don't know where he is today, but he was a great guy. And he always talked about things coming in threes, and here it talks a little bit about that and how it actually relates to, you know, the subject of this book. Um, it's really a beautiful thing. Let's take a look at money management. Money management is something that a lot of people don't care about, but I think it is perhaps the most important thing. Here it says, admittedly, the question of portfolio management can get very complicated, requiring the use of advanced statistical measures. We'll approach it here on a relatively simple level, which the book takes that approach. Keep it simple. I think that's the best route. The following are some general guidelines that can be helpful in allocating one's funds and in determining the size of one's trading commitments. And these are for futures trading primarily, but you can apply this to anything. Total invested funds should be limited to 50% of total capital. Yeah, you want to have some cash in your account if you're trading futures, for sure. Futures are very leveraged. You want to be careful and you want to make sure you have cash in case things don't go your way. Total commitment in any one market should be limited to 10 to 15%. The total amount risk in any one market should be limited to 5%. And it gives you examples here with numbers so you can get a calculator and then you can take your account and you can do the math, right? You can do the basic mathematics to figure out how much you should be investing. You're going to be shocked. You're going to realize that you don't have as much money as you thought you did, right? Because this book takes a very conservative approach when it comes to, to trading. Total margin in any market group should be limited to 20 to 25% of total equity. And again, these are fairly standard in the futures industry, according to John J. Murphy, which is the expert. These chart patterns are super valuable. Again, a lot of people don't believe in this. They don't believe it's an exact science. It's because it isn't. But more times than not, these patterns show up on stock market charts. And that's a big deal because you can recognize these patterns and it will help you. There's no guarantee. There is no 100%. No matter what anyone tells you, uh, you know, there's so many people on the internet trying to, you know, sell these courses and packages that will make you an expert trader. Nobody knows, right? Because if they knew, they wouldn't be selling those courses, right? They would be millionaires. So this is something that works most of the time. This is an ascending triangle pattern. You can see it here. And then here you can see it actually uh, on the Dow Transportation. You can see what it looks like here uh, in action. So pretty cool, right? Um, and that's just one example of one chart pattern. There are so many chart patterns. Here's the descending triangle, right? So that's the, the opposite of the ascending triangle. Really nice. Here's another look at the Dow Industrials. You can see we have a trend line here. Let me zoom in so you can see it better. Three degrees of trend, it says. So you have a major trend, right? A major trend. And this is really important, right? Again, go online, look at the S&P 500 or look at an ETF like uh, SPY, SPY, and you can see that it was in a downtrend, at least in the short term, and now it's uh, going back up. What's going to happen? Who knows? 
but you can see here, short trend is down. It hits the trend line and then it comes back up, intermediate trend. And so it just, it continues, it's in an uptrend. It's in a bona fide uptrend. Here it talks about support and resistance. And so when you read this book, you're gonna learn, you know, what to look for. What should you look for? What is a trend and how strong is the trend? And when should you buy? When should you sell, et cetera? Here it talks about the psychology of support and resistance. So based on the charts, uh, John J. Murphy sa explains, you know, how people think. You know, what is the psychology behind market participants? And he explains how it shows up in the charts. A lot of people don't believe this. That's fine. People are entitled to their opinions. But again, I think it's better to have something than to have nothing, right? It, it really is. And a lot of people also think that uh, you need to use really advanced math in order to, to get good at trading. I don't think that's true. I think, you know, there's so many people out there, smart people, they're called quants. They work at big hedge funds and they're coming up with all kinds of complex algorithms and trading systems just to try to make a little bit of money. And they do really well, but they're not like becoming zillionaires, you know? They're not just like breaking the market. They haven't found the secret. Nobody has found the secret, right? So nobody knows. So this book is a simple approach to trading and it gives you time-tested strategies that people have used throughout the years. Here's moving averages applied to long-term charts. Beautiful, a 40-week average. Yeah, most people use a 200-day average and a 50-day. Those are really common now. And also the five-day is really common now. But the 40-week 40, 40 is one to consider. Pretty cool. And it talks about pros and cons of the moving average. You know, John J. Murphy admits it's not perfect. He talks about how it's not perfect. And I think that's something to keep in mind. In any case, I think this is a great book. And what I will do is I will leave a link to both books. I'm not sure if this one is still available. I will look for it. I know this one is. And I believe, I believe this is the newest edition. So I will leave a link in the description. I bought my copy brand new. And again, this is the best trading book in the entire world. So let me just end this video with saying if, if you want to get into trading, my advice is be careful. Take your time. Don't believe anybody on the internet who tells you, um, you know, what they think the market's going to do. If someone says the market's going to do this and they're sure of it, you need to make your own decisions, right? You can choose to believe them, but you need to be the one that decides. You need to make the decisions for your financial future, right? Don't rely on someone who's touting a stock or touting a certain market to tell you what to do, right? When it comes to trading, make your own decisions. Something else I think is that is important to mention before I end this video is that it doesn't matter how many books you read, right? You can read this whole book and then you go out there and you make your first trade and you might not be cut out for it. It's, it's gonna rattle you, right? Because it doesn't feel good to lose money. So if you put in a lot of money and you lose a lot of money, it feels bad. And dealing with those emotions, dealing with the psychology is part of trading. That's why a lot of people like to create like automated trading systems. But a lot of times those aren't that good, right? They're not. A lot of times I think it's just better to keep it simple and follow basic technical analysis. I hope this video has been helpful. And what do you think about TA? Do you think it is complete garbage? If you do, it's okay. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you think it's garbage, let me know. Do you think it's worth learning TA? Let me know. Do you think it's good to know it and has it helped you? You know, let me know all your thoughts uh, about technical analysis and what you think about this book. I know many of you already have this book. And those of you who trade are already very familiar with this legendary piece of work by John J. Murphy. In any case, there you have it. The most famous book in the entire world on planet Earth. This is the, the best trading book on Earth. Technical Analysis of the Financial Markets by John J. Murphy. I feel like I, I can't say anything bad about this book because it's so good. Good luck. And have fun trading.